Now, brother, why ain't gravity pulling them bubbles down, them bubbles floating up? Where gravity yeah, at in this density. equation? Yeah, density. Not, not, so, oh, so, so density is powerful than gravity now. When density, so, oh, so let me ask you a question. No, no, it's just the force oh, pulling Wait, no, the water. No, brother, you need to stop and listen to my question. When is when right. does density decide to pull up and when does gravity decide to pull down? That's my question. No, no, it's both at the same time. Obviously. So 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 why ain't gravity winning this battle but with these bubbles? Cause think about what I'm about to tell you now. Gravity is keeping all of the ocean water held to the earth. That is a lot of water weighing an amount that we can't even fathom. But it can't keep these bubbles held down. I want to hear your explanation of why gravity's failing and density's winning right now. Because the water is heavier than the air, so it orders. Okay, like, so like so I guess said, so. Hold on, no, 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 no. I got your answer, falls. brother. That was the answer. That's it. The the air is lighter than the water. Guess what you just did, though? You debunked the theory of gravity with the law of density. And I'm finna prove to you that you just did it. Density doesn't need gravity. Gravity needs density. And that was what just happened right now. See, gravity only explains why shit fall. That's why Isaac Newton created that dumbass theory with an apple falling on his head. They should have checked to see if the apple damaged his goddamn brain. Because if he thought that gravity was a force pulling the apple down, but it didn't pull the clouds down... And this fool if he thought that this force of gravity was picking on one apple in the tree but letting the rest of the apples stay up there like a goddamn dummy no, bro. some no if you cut me off you got to goddamn go don't cut me off man i'm talking like i was saying he was a dumbass if he didn't know that this particular apple failed Right, and it got heavier than the other apples, dude, and it's and the tree could no longer sustain it. You know what that's called? The law of density. You know what the law of density is not? A theory, which is what gravity is. You know what laws can do? Stand alone. You know what theories can't do? Stand alone. Which is why when we ask you about the bubbles, you got to say our argument, which is density. We never bring up gravity for nothing. If you ask us why the rock fell in to the water we're gonna say because the rock was heavier than the water now you using that explanation to explain why the bubbles go up but you won't use it to explain why the rock go down like a goddamn dummy when the damn law of density explains them both you choose to just use one part of the law of density which is why when it's time for you to explain why shit go up you abandon gravity and have to go to the law of density but a flat earther we never have to abandon a law of density even when somebody asks us why shit go down because there's one law explain them both it's a law not a goddamn theory okay so you said with the bubbles right I wouldn't say so that. you're saying I that the gravity that. stops and what i'm saying that gravity stops when it comes to density but i never said that i'm just saying gravity is always working and then you have the bubbles the, the, I, I didn't say worse. nothing about gra listen what I'm saying if gravity I know gravity according to your model is always working that ain't the question the question is gravity only explain why things fall it don't explain why they rise up we can put fl play around with the law of gravity because with the law with, with the theory of gravity it say what goes up must come down that ain't true some things go up and stay up and never come back down and that's that that is explained in the law of density but if your theory only explain why things drop and is only a focus on dropping then when somebody who embraces the theory of gravity when somebody ask them why did this air bubble float they start teaching density when they should have been teaching that law to explain why the apple failed too because the apple is heavier than the air around it exactly. so if I drop the goddamn apple it's gonna drop but if I drop the helium balloon it's gonna rise because the helium gas is lighter than the air that's around it